Hey guys, here's a micro quick tip, um, pun intended with that one of course. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I um, insert and remove an IC from a socket. Um, if you've done this a few times or if you're new to building pedals, you might um, have noticed that it's very easy to bend pins and, and manhandle um, the pins on the ICs and they can snap very easily. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it because um, I've done this a million times and um, I find this method to be um, pretty much flawless. So here's the chip, it's an, N it's an NE570 um, and I'm testing it in circuit just to make sure that it works. Um, the first thing you want to do is, this has been a salvage chip, um, it's already sort of had some sort of handling done to it but um, the leads are still diagonal and when you buy them new you'll notice if you look if you sight down the IC let me get that in the camera the right way around if you sight down the IC you'll notice that the that they sort of uh, diagonally point off to the left and right um, you need to bend those inwards towards the body of the IC so what I do is let's see if I can do this behind the camera So what I do is, um, I use duckbill, um, duckbill pliers, you can use any pliers but I find duckbill to be the best. Um, I grab um, four at a time and I just bend them in about a millimetre like that um, on all sides until they're kind of curved inward a little bit. I'll show you, I'll sight down the IC again. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing here, it's quite, um, uh, quite a fine job. So, just give that one, one, and then so if we look down now, they should be slightly curved inwards. You might be able to see there's a bit of a curve going inwards. That'll fit into the IC really easily. So then, point down to the um, circuit. I just place the IC on top of the um, on top of the socket like that, and then just look. Let me zoom in for you there. It's far miles away from the actual actual IC, and then just look over the top. Make sure the IC uh, the the pins are all lined up, the legs are all lined up, um, that none are sticking out because if you push down um, you'll crush the pins and that can be annoying because then you end up with a snap pin and then just push evenly down um, until it goes firmly into the socket and then when you're done um, what I use is you may not have one of these um, but I find it's the best tool for the job it's a um, IC extractor um, you can get different versions of this this is just a cheapo one I think it was maybe five bucks from my electronic shop it's just got little hooks on each side so you just put that, let me zoom in again, over the top and um, just get the little hooks in underneath the, the chip. Um, let me see if I can get that on a better view. This is quite difficult behind the camera. I didn't think it was going to be this, this hard, but it is. I've actually already pulled it out a little bit, but you get the idea. So you just hook it in like that and then you pull it cleanly out in one motion, like so. That was a bit tight, but I got there in the end. That That's the way to avoid um, bending the pins because um, if you use like a seesaw kind of motion, you'll um, you'll bend the pins um, uh, as you pull it out and you'll have ones like, you know, half of them will be sort of pointing out this way. Uh, it's an easy way to bend pins doing it that way. So so just um, use, if you've got one, use one of these. The other way that you can, that you can do it with, if you don't have, um, if you don't have an IC extractor is to get, uh, a precision screwdriver and go in underneath and pop it up. Um, that can also work quite well as well. But I find these are the best. I've used these for thousands of chips. Um, I, I test a lot of chips, as you'd imagine, um, and um, they they I very very rarely get. I can't remember the last time I had a bent pin. It just never happens. So that was a micro quick tip. Um, just something I was doing right now that I thought that you might benefit from or find um, uh, useful to know. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more. Cheers.